Welcome to the Holiday Estates Mobile Home Park in Inglewood, where devastation from Hurricane Ian is everywhere you look. You go down any street in this neighborhood and there is devastation just everywhere, damage everywhere that you can see. It's more than, more than six months since Ian hit, and yet many of these homes, looks like the storm came yesterday. We were called by Paul Mayer, who's been forced to resort to camping out at his home. Paul, I'm kind of blown away. I see coolers here, you yeah. got a kitchen here. You've yeah, got your well, awesome you can't, fryer. you get a little, little tiny refrigerator in there. Yeah. Every day I get up in the morning, I got jugs of ice in there. Right there's where I do my laundry. Oh, wow. I do my laundry outside. There's my clothesline back yeah. there. You're basically living outside. Basically, yes. Basically, yes. You know, I go in there to go to sleep. That's because Ian ripped the roof off the manufactured home that Mayer and his wife lived in for years. Everything, furniture, everything in there was destroyed. Paul tells me he bought a new manufactured home, but he's been waiting for it to be delivered for months. They can't deliver it until they get a permit, but they say they can't get a permit. The permit people say they haven't applied for a permit. And he's not alone. This neighbor had his manufactured home delivered, but without the right permits, he also can't get it installed. Several other neighbors are living in damaged and deteriorated homes. So what do you do? I don't know what else to do. That feeling of despair later turned to sorrow. While leaving the comforts of home for a small camper, Paul's wife Myrna was hospitalized. By March, she was too sick to go on. It just devastated my wife and I lost her, you know. She couldn't do it no more. Do you think she'd still be alive if you had the... I, you know, I don't want to say, you know, I really don't want to comment on that. If the devastation was just unbelievable. Neighbor Kevin Holloway says the daily struggle to rebuild is both emotionally and physically draining. How are you guys doing this every day? We're tough and throw it. We're tough and throw it like, like we're supposed to. We can't sit in our home and cry all day. <laughs> we try and help each other out the best we can. Since our reporting on this story began, Charlotte County Public Works Director John Elias tells me he has met with the residents of the Holiday Estates. He says the county completed their debris pickup and believes much of the leftover debris in the neighborhood may be due to contractors not disposing of it properly. We just need some help. We need some straight answers from both contractors and federal government and state government and county government. Charlotte County leaders tell me they are trying to figure out how to help these residents. But for Paul, he says the wait is too long. While he plans to eventually return to Southwest Florida, for now, it's no longer paradise for him. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to leave. I can't stay here all summer. You know, I just can't do it. In Inglewood, Ryan Kruger, Fox 4 Investigates.